In this unit, we will step back from most of the mathematics and modeling and programming and address some important qualitative issues. We will briefly outline the elements of the evaluation and deployment phases of CRISDM, both of which require thinking about the big picture. That is, what are we really trying to accomplish in this project and how do we go about actually doing it? At this point, a successful data scientist needs to fully consider the perspective of the project owner and the decision makers. The first goal is to honestly evaluate the merits of the results with respect to the defined project objectives. If the results are worth implementing, the data scientist needs to help build this case. This means that we'll need to understand what we have done, what assumptions we've made, what the results mean, and be able to explain ourselves in terms that matter to the decision maker. In my experience, some project owners care deeply about all of the details of the entire process. Others just want a number or statistical permission to proceed. The best people to work with, however, are those who want you to work with them to help make informed and quality decisions. So in this unit, we will also examine what are known as decision-making traps. An article in the Harvard Business Review identified multiple hidden traps which can inhibit you from making the right decision. We will discuss several of these, including the anchoring trap, the status quo trap, the confirming evidence trap, and the conformity trap. We will also think about ways to protect ourselves from falling into these traps. Hopefully, this will help you be able to communicate more effectively with decision makers on analytics projects. I also hope that learning about the decision traps will help you yourself make better decisions overall.